Milwaukee Tool should be ashamed for putting this on the market so late. It should have come a long time ago. This is one of my favorite tools I've added to the shop in the last couple of months. I'm gonna tell you why this is so awesome to have in the shop. It's almost a necessity and it's the second sander you should buy. I'm also gonna tell you why it's better than an oscillating tool, why you should get it even if you don't have M12 batteries. Let's go. Most of us have our orbital sanders like our DeWalt or even Festool or maybe 3M. Those are fantastic sanders that are made for sanding larger projects. This is by far one of my most picked up tools in the last several months. I'm using this every time I'm in the shop building something because it is so handy. I'm gonna show you how you use this or why you would even want it in your shop. But first, let's go over the features. So a few weeks ago, you may have saw me show this Rikon sander, which is a two inch spinning sander. What's the difference in these two and why would you pick this one up? Well, this one has a nice point on it that's gonna get into corners much, much better. And that's where I see where this one really shines. First and foremost, it is the M12 platform. So if you already have the M12 batteries, then you're in luck. You can just buy the tool without the charger and the battery. However, if you wanna pick up one with the battery, which I would recommend, you're gonna get a charger, you're gonna get the soft interface pad, you're also going to get a pad saver, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then a few extra discs to go along with it. So I think it's a better deal, actually. Now, with this sander, it is a variable speed by the trigger. So when you pull the trigger, it's going to increase or decrease the amount of orbits that's going on right there on the head, uh, depending on how much you're pulling the trigger. You can also lock that trigger in place so that if you wanted to take your hand off and use it uh, sanding normally, you could do that. There's also some speed adjustments on the back, the one through four. What that does is limits how fast this, this sander is sanding. So if you just wanted to keep it very low, uh, delicate material, it's something you just absolutely do not need to mess up. You're gonna put that on a one and you can hear the difference in the speeds. We'll start off at one and go through four. Two, three, four. So the higher the number, the faster the orbits. Now this goes from four to 14,000 orbits per minute. Another cool feature is the fact that this pad on the bottom can rotate in like nine different positions. And so you can move this to get it any way you need it to get into those tight corners and spaces you're needing to sand. And if you've never had any Milwaukee M12 tools before, the battery gauge is on the side to let you know how much battery is left. And speaking of battery life, the 2.5 amp hour battery that comes with this lasts a very long time. I use this quite a bit and don't have to charge it much at all. So what comes with this kit for $179 is normal price for it. This come with a 2.5 amp hour battery. It come with a sander. It came with its own charger, a carrying case, the soft pad, the pad saver, and a few extra sanding disc things. They're a little triangle home plate looking things. Now Milwaukee surprised the woodworking world with this tool and it's been extremely well received. You don't have to take my word for it. If you go to any website that sells these and read through the reviews, they're extremely highly rated, like five stars. Now this thing isn't perfect and we'll talk about some cons in just a minute. Now this is labeled as a detail sander. In other words, you're gonna use this on delicate parts or you don't wanna really take off a bunch of material at a time, but that doesn't mean it can't. As you can see here, I'm sanding this old stool with really old, old paint baked into it and it just comes right off. This thing is super powerful, especially with the lower grit, like this 80 grit sandpaper I'm using here. It works extremely well. It's very powerful as far as taking material off. One of the downsides of this is that it doesn't have dust collection. So if you're worried about that, then this may not be the tool for you. But on smaller projects, you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. One of the things we make here at 731 is catch-all trays. We sell them on our store in different shapes and sizes, things like that. This is where this tool has really come in handy for me because I'm able to get down inside the pockets of these and sand inside the pockets, especially up into tight corners where I couldn't get with, even with the Rikon two inch sander, it was limited to where it could get. This can really get in those corners or at least most of the way into those corners and crevices where most other sanders can't. And the only other option for me was hand sanding and I hate hand sanding. And then the other main thing I'm using this sander for is around curves and the edges, just like on this guitar tray, it has several curves all the way around it. This allows the pad to go around those curves as well as on the round overs around the bottom and top of the thing. I also take a router and round over the edges of these to knock that sharp edge off. And this interface pad is perfect for sanding those to make sure they're perfectly smooth, but it doesn't damage the round over and cause it to look weird or off or damage it in any way. It's just gonna sand it really smooth. That's one of the main things I'm using this for with this interface pad. You can also use this on tabletops and things like that or along those edges that you've rounded over, cutting boards, anything like that that you don't wanna damage that round over. This is the tool for that. If you're making small boxes or trays or anything like that, 
This is one of those tools that I can't recommend enough for you. One thing I will say about this Milwaukee M12 detail sander is it's very well balanced. It only weighs about a pound and a half or so with the battery in it, maybe two pounds at max, but it's very well balanced and the vibration is near zero unless you really have it on full speed. What I normally use it on is a two. It's minimal vibration in the hand, which is good. If you're worried about the warranty and how long these things last and all that good stuff, the tool has a five-year warranty on it, typical with all Milwaukee tools, and then the batteries have three-year warranties, which is a solid warranty in my opinion. If you want bigger, better battery life, you could always pick up a 4.0 amp hour M12 battery. I like using this one on there only because it sits up better. It's a, it's a personal thing. It doesn't make it work better. It doesn't run any faster or better. It'll last longer. So if you're using that on a job site, maybe pick up a couple of those, but to keep it as low profile as possible, you can use that 2.5. So what are the cons of this? Well, A is the price. I think a lot of people will be deterred by the price, but I think if they gave it a chance, they would see how much they really would use this. I purchased this with my own money. So, and this video is not sponsored. This is just my opinion of this tool. The second drawback I think is kind of a pro and a con is the unique shape of the sanding disc. It is basically the shape of a home plate. Go Yankees. But that unique point does let that get into the corner. So I'm glad they made their own shape of a sanding mesh. And yeah, you have to buy them extra, but as with most mesh sanding discs, they do last quite a long time. Now there's two pads that come with this kit, the pad saver and the interface or sponge pad. The pad saver is meant to save this main backer pad. In other words, from heat buildup and stuff like that. So you're gonna to wanna to put that on. And what's awesome about that is when you buy new paper from them, if you choose to use this, which we'll talk about, you can get different paper in a minute. This is the Milwaukee Power Grid mesh, similar to the 3M mesh, or if you've seen the Diablo mesh paper, it's very similar to that, except for it just fits this perfectly in that shape. Each pack of this comes with a new pad saver. So you can constantly switch those out as this hook and loop wears out and it saves the main pad. So that's key. Now my favorite pad that I've used is this soft pad. You may have seen me use the soft pad on my Festool sander on some other projects before. These are very nice to have, especially when you're sanding on corners, roundovers, or if you're trying to sand molding or anything like that that you need to get in those dips. This is a lifesaver if you're having to hand sand things. It's gonna save that elbow grease for later for something else and not the sanding job. Both of these have hook and loop pads so they stick to the uh, regular pad with ease and then you can just put your paper on top of that. If I'm not mistaken this kit did come with 80, 120, and 180 paper that I have here but you could also pick up some extra which I did. Here's a secret if you don't want to buy these you can just cut your own out of the sandpaper you have. Just take a razor knife and trace this uh, shape. Stick it right on there. Rock on. And then the third drawback, in my opinion, is no dust collection. I don't know how they would add it on there. Maybe if the tool pulled the dust through somehow like other sanders do, that would be great. I don't know if they could accomplish that with the size of this, so they may have to give up some of the size, and I really wouldn't want to do that. And because this is such a small sander meant for smaller projects or detail projects, I don't think sanding dust is too much of a issue in most cases. Even these small trays we make when I sand the inside of them, it creates a little bit of dust in there, but it's easily either dumped or vacuumed out. So why on earth would you buy this if you already own a oscillating tool or you're gonna wanna get one of these oscillating tools? Well, number one is the vibration. The vibration is so much less on this. It's night and day difference. You just have to feel it to see it. Also, this doesn't orbit. This has a 1.5 millimeter orbit. In other words, it's going around, which Milwaukee calls their stain quality finish. So it's giving it a nice smooth finish without those swirl marks or anything like that, which I have noticed as well. Where an oscillating tool is only going side to side. It is not going in an orbit. It's just basically vibrating left and right. So what that's gonna do, that side to side action is actually gonna be scratching your wood versus sanding your wood. So basically you're looking at the Mr. Miyagi of sanders. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. It's going in a circle where these are just wiping. So they're kind of swipe the leg. I guess. And another thing with these oscillating tools versus the sander, Mr. Miyagi's quieter. <laughs> this thing is just obnoxiously loud. And a few other common uses for this sander that I've read in comments and experienced myself here in the shop is I'll grab this when I just need to do something small. Like if a piece of wood has a burn mark on it from a blade or a bit, this thing knocks it off really fast. Or if you just need to sand just small little things like you've already sanded the whole project, you're getting ready to finish and you notice there's a rough spot. I'll grab this and knock that rough spot off. It's just convenient to have something small that you can use around the shop or job site if you're into that kind of thing. 
If you buy one of these, I would highly recommend going ahead and picking up an extra contour sponge, just because uh, the, if you take them on and off, eventually they'll start breaking apart, but so does the ones on my Festool. It's just the nature of the beast because it is a sponge. Now I've had this one for a few months. It hasn't tore up yet, so it will last, but just ensure that you have an extra because if it tears up, you're gonna wanna have that extra on hand. Look, I know, I know, I know. I'm not buying this because I don't have any Milwaukee tools and I don't want to get into another battery platform. I can hear you. I know because I was there. I had the rigid tools and I used those forever until I got a great deal on these drill and driver set. <laughs> and I was like, these are really nice. And then I saw this and I was like, I gotta have that. And so I picked this up. If you don't have any Milwaukee tools and you only want this tool, you can buy the kit with just the battery. You're gonna be perfectly happy with that. It doesn't mean you have to go out and start buying all these Milwaukee tools. It just means you're gonna have an awesome sander with a battery that's gonna last you for a very long time. And these batteries, if you keep your eye out, especially on our tool deal site, then you're gonna find some excellent deals on these batteries and get them for half price a lot of times. So you'll be able to pick up a couple of extras to have spare. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is Isaiah 6, 8. It says, then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, here am I, send me. More of us need to be saying, here am I, send me. So what do you think? Is, it, is this worth the price? Are you gonna use it in your shop? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, check out the Rikon little mini sander right there video. Click that box, click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist pump. Or if you want a big, nice sander, top of the line, check out the 3M sander review right there.